Thank you for the opportunity to be here this morning. Uh, my name is David Romando. Uh, I'm a lifelong resident of Suffolk County. I'm also an attorney practicing law in Suffolk County for 25 years. I represent victims of catastrophic personal injuries and often uh, fatal injuries. I was retained in 2015 uh, to represent the state of a 16-year-old boy killed after being struck by two vehicles in a pedestrian crosswalk at a traffic controlled intersection with a red light camera. I began my investigation as did Suffolk County Police Department. The investigation brought me to the advocacy of people like Stephen Roof and Hector Gavia, who brought to the attention uh, red light cameras for the first time. I was skeptical at first to question the yellow chain interval time of record at this fatal accident location. After all, we have professionals who do this stuff. My research and investigation demonstrates that the Department of Transportation traffic engineer under the red light camera program used the wrong equation to set the yellow lights. The traffic engineers have been mapped long in simple physics, which determines the length of the yellow lights. For a left turn where the driver slows from 45 miles per hour to 20 miles per hour, the driver needs 5.4 seconds, not three, not four, not four and a half. They need 5.4 seconds. No one can overpower the laws of physics, and the traffic engineer under these equations forces the driver to run the red light on an arbitrary and capricious three to four seconds. This is engineering malpractice, at which the Suffolk County Red Light Camera Program generates revenue. This is engineering malpractice, which affects the safety and income of the citizens of Suffolk County. In the fatal collision I referred to a moment ago, uh, I have court ordered subpoenas by the Supreme Court served upon the Department of Transportation, the County of Suffolk, and Xerox, which are returnable on February 18th in the Supreme Court of Suffolk County. I am seeking the professional engineer certified engineer plan of record under the red light camera program for the fatal intersection as well as all other intersections under the red light camera program. It's important to know what the yellow shade interval time was before the red light camera program and after the red light camera program. Because the, the Freedom of Information Act has failed to yield any information for me. Uh, I was forced to resort to subpoena power through the Supreme Court. Unfortunately, the red light camera program does not have any data since 2013. I suspect Xerox is not cooperating, so I could not resort to the red light camera program for any information about the yellow change intervals. I've spent 25 years representing victims of personal injury and advocating for their safety in Suffolk County and in all the employees. Excuse me, Mr. Raimondo. Please wrap up your time. Certainly. I ask you to suspend the Suffolk County Red Light Camera Program on 30 days' notice to your office, assuming the contract you can have with them. Please investigate the yellow change in the whole on the record before and after the cameras are installed. Thank you. Thank you.